As we get into the Halloween spirit, we're taking a look at some spooky sightings from across the gem state. On your sides, Karen Laird joined a group of paranormal investigators as they toured the historic Idaho State Penitentiary in tonight's Hauntings of Idaho. Behind the historic charm and colorful foliage at the Idaho State Penitentiary lies a history of death, murder, and mystery. We're here at death row. This is a prison. The people that were put here were bad people. Were you innocent of the crime that you were charged and convicted with? There were deaths here. There were suicides. There were uh, people uh, murdered. There were people that were uh, hanged here. The prison has built a reputation around town as a place where ghosts gather, attracting paranormal investigators from around the country. Okay, is there somebody coming in to the cell block with us? Maybe those entities that uh, died here um, haven't moved on. Uh, maybe they're still floating around and they're still angry. Come up and knock on the glass next to Karen. Investigator Mike Clough has explored the old pen several times over the last few years, and each time there's one cell block that never fails to show spiritual activity. Now we're in here to visit with you. I've seen full-bodied apparitions. I've heard voices. I've seen movement. I've seen shadows. And on this trip. Is there anybody here that would like to come forward and just let us know what your name is? Several questions asked by the group were followed by faint sounds down the corridor or the sound of metal clanking against a cell door, but nothing compared to what happened next. He thought he saw some movement at about waist high and asked me to walk over. So I walked over there and I, he asked me to stick my hand out and to reach inside the door. What's there inside the cell to your left? Is that the bottom of the <laughs> leaving even more unanswered questions about the unexplained. Something grabbed my hand, my left hand on my ring finger and my little finger. Startled me. <laughs> I was pretty startled. Uh, and obviously, you know, when I looked down, you know, there was nothing there. This was investigator Mark Edwards' first trip to the old pen, but he says he's no stranger to spiritual activity. Has that ever happened to you before? I have been uh, grabbed before uh, at other locations. Um, I've been cut. Uh, I've got a scar here where I asked an entity once uh, if it could touch me, and it did. And I said, can you touch me harder? And it cut my arm and actually left a scar. Were you bleeding? Yeah. And while no blood was shed on this exploration. Who is in the cell where the door is standing open? Investigators left even more intrigued than when they arrived. Do you think that there are spirits or beings or entities still around the old pen? Yes, absolutely. Karen Lair, today's six on your side. Well, ghosts or no ghosts, it's a cool place to go hang out and just walk around. And see the history. And see the history. Now, whether there's some old inmates walking around. Needless to say, um, Karen wasn't the Yeah, notice how she was always, yeah, you guys go first, <laughs> peeking around the corner. She's going to go back in the daylight.